Okay, so, um, so first of all, thank you for, for joining us on this webinar. Um, what I'm going to do is I have about 12 slides here to basically go through the reasoning behind uh, the Sustainable Energy Systems Graduate Diploma, um, a little bit about DCU, um, and then a little bit about myself and my team, um, and then um, pretty much uh, go through some of the course um, modules, um, and then the floor is open for uh, discussion, uh, questions, and I would um, pretty much um, during this talk, uh, to say the 10 minutes I'm going to be talking, um, I would ask you to type in questions, queries, um, discussion topics into the chat um, so that myself and uh, Anya can actually um, see them and view them. Um, and uh, just, just to, you know, there'll be, min be time afterwards to have a bit of a discussion uh, or even uh, direct questions around the, around the um, graduate diploma. Um, so I'm just going to um, go in here. So first of all, um, if you don't, if you don't know Dumb City University, um, it's um, uh, which you'll be you'll be part of. You'll be coming into the uh, the uh, the arm of of Dumb City University. Um, it's a vibrant young university. Um, we've got um, um, very 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 prominent in business and engineering and science um, across the world. We're ranked quite high, so we have lots of um, engagement from our researchers and our and our educators. Um, and, and that's recognized at a global level. Um, and we're, we're always um, in the top rankings, 2% in the world. Um, and then um, young university ranking is quite high. So you're, you're entering into a very uh, prestigious university. And beyond that, beyond the prestigious of it, the university itself is young, vibrant, and has actually lots of uh, interactions where um, you, the lecturers interact well with students, students interact well with each other, societies, et cetera. And in the COVID world, um, we will be, you know, there'll be slight changes with day-to-day -day activities, online learning, et cetera. And all this hopefully will accommodate better learning and, and better engagement and better opportunities for everyone on this call who, who's interested in um, attending Dublin City University. Um, so if you have any general queries, Dublin City University, go onto the website or, um, you know, um, what I'll talk about here today is, is the uh, graduate diploma and sustainable energy systems. So I want you to have a, um, a look at the picture. Um, some people, when they think about sustainable energy systems or energy systems, they think of wind turbines in a field. And what I want to go through today is that um, wind turbines in a field is one of a very small element of sustainable energy systems. And it's once one part of a huge... Um, area that, that this graduate diploma covers. Um, and I'll go into that a little bit uh, as I go on, or more detail as I go on here. But what I want you to think about um, as I'm going through these slides is um, you know, your, your interest, your, the, the why for you personally to get, in, get involved with sustainable energy systems, what you want out of it yourself from a career point of view, from a, um, a change, from a, um, opportunities for, your, for yourself, your family, um, a better world. What are, whatever those personal reasons um, to do this course are, um, you know, um, um, you know, think about them and and see this course for you. And to be honest with you, the stem energy systems that we're we're presenting here and we're going to we're we're um, present or given uh, get the people to get involved with is is the only type of its course in the country. Uh, we've developed it from scratch. Our our team is is highly qualified and um, definitely. Um, there's there's this opportunity within it, and hopefully the slide, this picture of what sustainable energy systems turns out to be, will be a lot different uh, once you're qualified. It may it might even be a small bit different after this presentation. So the team, so myself, I'll introduce myself. I'm the chair of the program, and um, assistant professor in energy sustainability, uh, hydrogen technology. I don't know if you if you recognise hydrogen technology, great. If you don't, you'll 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 get more about that. Um, I'm involved with the World Energy Council. Um, I'm involved with United Nations um, uh, development programs um, around climate action and, and um, uh, natural gas activities um, and actually transition uh, from um, fossil fuels. Um, and then I'm involved with a number of associations, organizations, NGOs um, in Ireland, in Europe, across the world, um, including um, um, sustainability programs, et cetera. 
within the team then, so wider, wider than me. So I, I teach on this program, uh, we, uh, but with the team really, it's a, it's a broader aspect. And certainly we have uh, a collaboration with the electronic um, engineering side of, 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 of our university uh, with the mechanical manufacturing engineering side. Um, and really we bring in, I, I'm not going to go through the, the, the details here, but basically we have uh, Professor Barry McMullen bringing in energy modeling and, um, into the into the fray, which is which is uh, which is a, which is definitely a part. Uh, we kind of we know about, or you might recognize weather modeling and and um, um, that side of things. But from a from it from an energy system, you need to model and what it what's expected, how the system is going to interact in the future, and how how different things can impact that. From uh, Professor Brian Corcoran, he's actually also the head of school, uh, involved in water and energy uh, systems. So he'll be definitely adding in value onto the, the modules and course. We have uh, Associate Professor Anne Morrissey. Uh, she's involved with sustainability uh, of all types, uh, waste energy, um, and, and um, uh, certainly highly qualified and highly um, um, experienced in the area for many, many years. And, and um, uh, certainly has, has, a, has a huge uh, part to play in, in developing this program. We have uh, Associate Professor uh, Jan Delure involved with fluid modeling. So this is then going into modeling and simulation, but actually more into the uh, system side of, of actually component size where you're actually modeling fluids, et cetera, into, um, into systems, thermodynamic systems, for example. And then we have Assistant Professor Lorna Fitzsimons. Um, her um, area will be in LCA, so be uh, life cycle assessment, uh, life cycle costing. Uh, water to waste. Looking at the analogy, we'll be looking at um, the cost of um, electric vehicle, uh, but taking taking the whole cost of it from mining the uh, the lithium out of the ground to disposing of that of that uh, car at the end of its life, and and how the how the system works, how the, what the cost of energy is in the system. Um, so that's kind of pretty much the team who's who's come together really to pull this graduate diploma together and and the modules and the, and the details on it, and. Um, um, you'll meet them if you join um, the course, and uh, you'll you'll definitely get a rounded, a rounded focus of the energy system, but also detailed analysis and understanding and capability as an engineer um, to meet the to meet the needs of actually employers and to meet the needs of actually um, the gaps that we have within the um, um, energy system. And, and the main gap is actually qualified um, engineers, uh, scientists that actually. Um, that actually have the tools that actually can 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 model, can implement, and actually um, um, move us forward in in, in our energy um, requirements. Actually, and and I'll put down if my footnote at the bottom is a picture of an electric vehicle, and so um, if you think of uh, sustainable energy systems, and you think of wind turbines and electric vehicles, uh, well. I drive an electric vehicle, so hopefully um, I can bring in some real-world, uh, on-the-ground experience, pro and con, and, um, uh, you know, um, first-hand experience on on the on the, um, the capabilities, for example. So the idea is that, you know, we the, the people in this team, we uh, we kind of talk to talk and hopefully walk the walk as well. Um, so this slide here is just a, a picture, and I could have pulled in. Anything from the Amazon, the Amazon burning, or the or or, or, or Siberia on fire, uh, but it brought in kind of the idea around this course really, um, and and where we are within our society in 2020, uh, COVID prevailing or not, uh, we're in a changing world, and and the changing world we 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 inhabit today compared to 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, is that uh, we're in a changing world that uh, because of chemicals we put into the atmosphere. Um, it's affecting how the world works. Um, and then there's other act activities that are going on, such as people moving from rural areas to cities, uh, population growth, um, resources, where they are, how they're distributed, um, education, and then society, behavioral activities, but also society as a general, what does society want? So there's kind of um, taken all that into account. We're trying to understand not just to provide electricity or, 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 or heating to you, but actually to understand how a system, everything from components in that system to how these components fit together, to then how that's distributed across a continent um, 
or our country or a region or a village. So um, it's really important to understand the world we live in um, first. And then obviously, I'm going to flick through some of these screenshots, but these are kind of news headlines or pictures that of, 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 of um, challenges and activities that's going on. Um, everything from scandals to um, activism to, um, to, 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 to leadership, um, and then have, have uh, companies that are going zero emissions, companies that are not doing a great job, um, and then social uh, unrest around being taxed, possibly. So there's a whole um, idea here, an, an interaction with policy. Uh, countries bringing in zero, zero cost for public transport. And other countries trying to double up the, the, the cost of your ticket to get onto the bus. So how, which system works, which one, which one is right, which one's wrong, uh, which one's the best? Um, I'm probably not going to answer which one's the, the best, but we can understand how systems can interact and how, and how they could interact and not try to understand what's the best for Ireland uh, or a city or something in Ireland, for example. So if I kind of summarize those two slides and kind of say, well, why this new course? Well, um, I'd always call, um, you know, we're, we're, in a, we're in an era where we, we have recognized climate change, human created climate change for about 30 years. Um, and I think that word should move on or should have moved on probably many decades ago, but it should move on now to climate action. What are we doing as a society to, um, to mitigate the, the, the worst of climate change for most likely the poorest and, and, and uh, um, in society. So, um, and how do we live in that world? And how do we raise our children in that world? And the whole idea of an energy transition, a transition away from the system that we know today, to something that's different, probably frightens a lot of people, but actually we've moved through a number of energy transitions um, in the last century and over the evolution of humanity, We've, we've, we've evolved from timber to, um, to peat, to coal, to oil, and where does that, to gas, and then where does that go into the future? Um, so we've, transitions aren't, aren't a new thing, they just uh, we have to recognize that, that uh, we are in one and how do we actually manage that. I bring in 2030, 2050 emissions targets, but actually I put in there 2020 targets. We need to understand what emissions what targets, what policy, what measures from Europe, what national measures, what collective community measures um, need to be put in. And, and are our targets a good thing? Or is it, is it more of a, um, a carrot of a stick approach? Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you interact with bringing in a new system? Um, and then again, um, how, do you, how does that affect the poor society? Um, and it's, it, they're not easy questions to answer, but ho certainly we'll be getting involved with those questions. I've put in here auditing and regulation challenges. Um, the, 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 the system, energy systems, we haven't seen uh, a major um, energy system happen quite quickly because it takes a long time because there's effectively a lot of paperwork. Um, a lot of standards have to change. A lot of, of, of people have to, and companies have to come together. Um, and there are, and they're, they're certainly starting for the last 20, 30 years to come together to actually understand how they develop, how to become um, real, how to become um, sustainable, as in they exist in the future, but they don't um, close down. And then from your own personal point of view, listening on the call, you know, just career opportunities. Um, you know, the need for this course is that there is career opportunities. Uh, there's a need for uh, qualified engineers with knowledge around the things I've described here. Um, and um, the, the opportunities for graduates uh, with experience, uh, with a with a with a with a with a with a, with a, with a project um, completed of this graduate diploma, uh, with experience, your own experience, added experience, um, you know, it's 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 huge to you as a, as an individual to get um, to to go up the ladder, to move, switch. A lot of, lot of um, uh, applicants are switching careers, and that's good, um, fair play, and, and good work. And the other thing actually is. Because even, even though you may not have a, um, you might, you might have a, a diverse background or diverse experience, that's very welcome in this, in this era and certainly very welcome in this course. We need all sorts of people with broad knowledge to 
um, could basically be in the debate, you know, from everything from financial modeling to the, the, the soft skills of, 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 um, of risk assessments. Um, you know, the, the hard maths has been done. Uh, there will be, don't, don't get me wrong, there will be maths in this course. Um, but certainly we do need a diverse uh, range of graduates because the world is diverse and the, and the, and the, and the solutions are diverse. And then our economy, you know, we're, we're Ireland um, with COVID, we're, we're, in a, we're in a difficult place and we're going to probably move into a more difficult place over the next number of months. Um, so our, our economy, uh, European economy, the world economy needs to, needs to, needs to um, develop and needs to, um, and if that, if that can develop on something that's uh, sustainable, uh, that's, that's not bad for your health, and probably doesn't harm the environment, that's probably a good thing. And we should move in that direction. Um, and the change the world thing, well, that's up to you. Um, you know, um, every, every choice matters and the behavioral side of, of, um, um, of, 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 of sustainable energy systems is, is, a, is a huge part of it, uh, where managers in, in, and policymakers uh, certainly have, have uh, very large roles to play um, in the in the energy transition and involving in understanding where our energy system is and where it's going so that you can advise your boss or you can advise your colleague or your engineer uh, um, to, to do something over another thing and that saves the company money but it might even save um, save a couple of tons of carbon for example so basically, if, if the, the sign is wanted qualified engineering graduates, and uh, we've we've done a um, an article um, on we've done an article on um, uh, this this program, and you know there is a shortage of uh, qualified engineer graduates with the skills that we have in this course. Um, so they're definitely some benefit for you to to not walk into a job, but actually to hopefully go into a job that you want and actually see a development path for yourself within that career. So if I bring you back to maybe a lighter note of what actually sustainable energy systems is, it's not just the wind turbines, it's actually transport, it's how wind turbines interact with each other, it's how heating interacts with, it's how transport systems are laid out across cities and it's actually, it is about every individual uh, from, from, from kids education up through to uh, retirees and it's everybody in society and it's it's all different parts of the system joining together. So sustainable energy systems is a really, um, you know, you have to look broad to then focus in on um, uh, where the system is going. It's not a heating system. It's not an electricity system we care about. It's actually the energy system. And energy then um, it has a lot to do with emissions and the energy system has a lot to do with uh, opportunity, certainly for Ireland. Um, and and, uh, and and the capability of resources we have uh, on this on this on this island. Um, so the other thing, kind of, we cover as well is um, vision versus policy versus need. So I've put up three reports here from AirGrid, from Gas Networks Ireland, and um, the IEA, uh, International Energy Agency, and uh, they all have visions of of twenty fifty and twenty thirty. And, uh, you know, visions are great, um, but visions will only be implemented if, if society gets behind it. And it'll only be implemented if policy um, make it happen um, and, and um, ensure that companies are, are, are implementing the right solutions. That companies that are small companies or even international companies um, are, are able to implement change um, and the need, the need is, is there. So um, we, can, we can talk about the need and we, we, we can talk about the need. But certainly vision will only happen with, with the society backing it and with the technology capability to be enabled by policy um, in the right circumstance, uh, in, in, the right, in the right region to do the right thing uh, from a sustainable point of view. Um, so, and then, you know, careers, you know, the, these the, um, air, air grid, um, Gas Networks Ireland, Ervia, um, ESB, SSE, Energia, they're all companies that are looking for engineers with skills, with a mix of technology, uh, understanding, system, um, recognition, and policy basics. That's what they want. Um, 
existing graduates at, at many levels in, 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 in universities across Europe don't have all those, all those um, capabilities. Um, so, and then within your own organization, they will, they will have their own needs, which then you can uh, hopefully have a basis um, to, to build on that from, from, from the interaction of this course. So I'm just gonna go on to um, some of the, um, the modules actually that we, um, uh, we run here. And there's 7.5 credit modules with a 15 credit uh, research project. So they're, they're, they're hefty modules. Uh, they're not for the faint hearted. You're at going at a graduate diploma level. So it's, it is, it is, um, there will be time and effort needed for this course. Don't get that wrong. Um, and the project is a 15 uh, credit project, but that's, that's effectively, um, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's, um, it's certainly um, the research project. We can talk about that later if there's questions on it. But the idea of the research project is actually you bring, you bring to, the, to, your, to, the, to your supervisor what your research project is, you develop it, and then you develop it on, on what you've learned through the course or on a, on a, on a project that you find interesting. Uh, we can obviously, and then we, we advise you and we develop it with you. Um, but we don't, generally in DCU, we, we don't like telling you what project to do or what topic to choose for an assignment. It's, it's pretty much up to you. Um, so that, that, that um, um, capability is there for you to develop your own path and your own experience through, it, through this project, for example. So um, in semester one, we have energy systems decarbonization. We have project planning and research, and we have energy auditing and energy management. Um, and effectively, um, energy systems decarbonization is, is effectively an introduction to the where are we at today in Europe, Ireland, the world. Um, it's the helicopter uh, view of, of, um, of our system. It brings in a bit of modeling, a bit of policy, um, and it kind of introduces you enough to, to get going. Project planning and research is pretty much supporting your research project. So that's, that's, uh, there'll be assignments and stuff in relation to that. Uh, energy auditing and energy management then is in around uh, looking at a system and, and, and trying to actually measure. So if you, if you get employed by, the, by a company and they want to have a sustainable energy plan for their company or their building, the first thing you need to do is measure. You need to measure, you need to know the information, you need to know what um, energy you're using, what the cost of systems are, um, where is it, where is it, where's energy being lost, where's emissions come from, what can I do, what's the budget, where's the um, measures that, that support me, and is this, is this something that I'm doing on my own uh, back, or actually is this something that I'm doing today that I'll have to be mandated to do in the future, so doing it today actually saves me money and saves, gives me an opportunity, gives me an edge over my customers. Um, so that's kind of, that's where um, energy auditing and energy management comes in. Um, then technology and career success, that's, that's of course run on, on kind of adding um, advice and, and capability to you uh, within your career and, and developing your capability on that. Within semester two then we have whole life cycle analysis and advanced sustainable energy systems. Um, and then the research project is year long, but it is biased to semester two. So that's why we have um, kind of a lighter load of semester two, but the research project w does, have to be, does have to be completed by end of semester two as well. So whole life cycle analysis, um, this effectively is, is, is becoming um, the, 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 the go-to of how you cost a system. It's not, as I said, I gave the lithium-ion battery and the electric car analogy a second ago. It's not that um, uh, batteries are bad or batteries are good. It's, 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 it's when you have a, an option of technology, when you have a whole fr um, toolbox of tools um, and, 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 and lots of, lots or some choice, you need to, as an engineer, uh, for the circumstance you're in, whether it's a regional requirement, whether it's a, a, a regional law, whether it's infrastructure uh, availability or whatever, you need to develop what is the best solution for that, for where you are. So whole life cycle analysis can actually develop that with you for a system that isn't built. If you have a system built, you can actually analyze and see how much it's costing you, for example. And it brings in um, ideas of, of, of total cost of, of life, everything from being mined to being produced, to being used, to being maintained, and then being uh, 
recycled, decommissioned, whatever the whatever the whole set is. And and whole life cycle analysis can can go everything from a factory building to a component in the factory or to um, a fleet of buses or something. So it's 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 kind of it's a tool that you will get basis on, um, and certainly you will you, it could be very useful for you. Then advanced sustainable energy systems basically brings um, semester one activities. Um, instead of being a, um, a high level view of technology and how systems interact, it's actually kind of pulled into nuts and bolts of actually how systems do interact and how you put them together, what suits. So you bring in a lot of the other subjects into this one where you actually look at all the options on the table. Those, those tools and toolbox I mentioned, you actually look at all those tools and you have a knowledge when you leave this graduate diploma of all the tools and toolbox that are available to you. Um, and so that you don't make a decision off the back that I, I learned about this one technology in this one article uh, when I was waiting for my, for my uh, dentist appointment, you actually have a knowledge of um, uh, all the available technology, where they are in relation to technical readiness level, where they are related to cost, and how they actually can come together. Um, and then the aim, the, the aim of advanced sustainable energy systems will be an aim of zero emissions, um, carbon neutrality, net negative by, well, you choose the year, um, but you can do it sooner if you want, you can do later if you want. It's, it's up to society and it's up to policy to bring it forward or, or later. Um, and, and effectively how that comes together, how it can come together from a transport, heating, electricity, um, uh, domestic use, uh, industry use point of view. Uh, the Germans call it Agavinda, um, but it's actually in relation to how you actually build, build an energy system. Um, so that's kind of MM536. And the research project then, we, we, can, we can talk about on that, but that's kind of, it's up, it's up, it's up to you what, what you want. You can make it into a lab-based uh, lab if, if you have capability, depending on, uh, on COVID and how that, how that interacts with that. Um, but a lot of this could be uh, research-based, literature-based, um, model-based, um, so it's, there's a lot of lot of options for you, and it's up to you, as I said, to uh, to develop those ideas around that. And again, uh, the team of lecturers uh, will assist you with any any questions you may have. There's just some some um, some details on on each of those uh, modules, um, and again, happy to open the chat. So the last the slider here is just the kind of where to find out more information. Really, um, Springboard. This is run through Springboard. Um, and uh, Springboard is, uh, is, is government-led. Um, it actually, you know, the reason why Spring, Springboard um, is supporting these courses um, and why they're giving um, discounts on these courses is because they see the, they see the need of it within our economy and the lack of, 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 of uh, capability and, and students, graduates, with the skills that our, our economy needs. And so hence, we're through Springboard um and that's why it's it's offered to you and, and and we support that um so if you have any queries you can contact me or you can go through um the email there pjam at bc.ie um 